I'm absolutely delighted that Ravi Chandran Ashwin has got to 400 test wickets. Over the years, I've enjoyed watching him bowl. I've really liked watching him bat, to be honest, and I've enjoyed my conversations with him as he's grown. I first was told to look at Ravi Chandran Ashwin through a throwaway line from his then captain at Chennai Super Kings, MS Dhoni. This was when you could gather around after the uh, post-match presentation at one of the IPL games and he said something to me about Ye Ladaka. And I knew at that point that here was someone who was climbing through the ranks in Ranji Trophy, who wrote pretty well, who had a ticking mind. But once MS Dhoni said that, I just said, okay, let's, let's watch him a little closely. And I was intrigued by one thing though. As I watched his career progress, everybody kept focusing on what he could not do. About his fitness, about his movement in the field, about his bowling action, not being classical enough, about his away record, about his performances in Sena countries. And in a sense, I related to that because people were constantly talking about who he wasn't. And that in a way endeared him to me. But uh, I, I just enjoyed watching him grow and see where he has grown. I thought we'd look at it in terms of numbers first because they always tell a story. I'm a big fan of numbers. So I asked Deepu, a stats guy, to pull out numbers of all those who've taken more than 150 wickets. Because I think once you've got those many, you can look at numbers a little more carefully. What the numbers are telling me is in terms of average, He's second, only after Ravinder Jadeja. He's second in terms of strike rate to Mohamed Shami, best among the spinners. And there's been a galaxy of spinners. I looked at the away numbers because that's something he's been criticized on. And in terms of the away numbers, he still stood at second. Yes, in terms of the Sena countries, uh, you, you can see that that average still has some way to go. But in his last 11 test matches, he's averaging 29.97. So that tells me that even as he turns 34, that there is progress. And another good way to look at that progress actually is take a look at the breakdown, 100, 200, 300, 400, and you'll see that those away numbers are starting to get better and better while the overall strike rate average is still largely holding, but the away numbers are starting to get better. It tells you something about the person when at this stage in the career, you're actually getting better, not just staying put and relying on past achievements. It tells me that there's someone who's constantly thinking, who's constantly trying to get better. And I'll tell you something, having known Ashwin over the years with that professorial way, scientific way of looking at things, he's always challenging himself. He's always trying to get better. There's one stat though, when I was looking at Deepu's stats that really stood out for me. And that is when you look at the 400 wicket club, it is, it is an astonishing club full of some of the greatest names that have played the game. And I look at the strike rates because I believe strike rates are a very good indicator of a player's effectiveness. And there's only three names above him, three all-time greats in Dale Stain, Richard Hadley and Glenn McGrath. He's, he's, when you take wickets quickly, it means you're delivering more wins, you're delivering faster wins for your side. So strike rate is always a good number to look at. There are many parameters, but strike rate is one of the best to look at. So there he stands in that 400 club, this little fellow who started off playing street cricket and had to protect his fingers because he was getting very good at it. But someone who was always thinking. And what about the future for you, Ashwin? It's always very dangerous to chart the future. But uh, having seen cricket for a while, there's one thing I can tell you with utmost certainty, and that is that his fitness will determine how far he goes. And that is why I was particularly happy of all the statements he's made and all the conversations he's had over the last year or so. The one that I was happiest by was where he said he used the lockdown to improve his fitness. The fitter Ashwin is, the more the body obeys you and the more the body obeys Ashwin's mind, which is always ticking, he'll be a better bowler. And even in this series against England, we saw in the series against Australia, there's a mind that is ticking. So the fitter he is, the better he will bowl and the longer he will last. There's one other factor I'm very happy with, and that's his batting. I, I was fearing that a very good batsman was getting lost in averages of about 14, 15, 16. That's not Ashwin. The batting has shown a renaissance both in Australia uh, and now in the series against England. And I think that will stand him in very good stead because Ravinder Jadeja was offering at a, a more complete package in the field with the bat and a little bit and uh, almost equivalent with the ball. Those averages for Jadeja are excellent too. But if Ashwin can consistently stay fit and score runs, and if Rishabh Pant can continue his wonderful progress, his keeping has been, has, has just shown tremendous progress. 
then if Pant can bat at six, even when playing away, India can play the all-rounders in Jadeja and Ashwin at seven and eight and three seamers, and he'll actually get more game time. I'm also very intrigued by his state of mind. He said recently that he's been very happy about uh, the environment he's in and the way he's playing his cricket. When you're happy, you're thinking positive thoughts. You're thinking higher peaks. You're thinking more distant horizons. When your mind is negative, when you're insecure, you're always trying to be better than the next person. You've got smaller goals. They, they sort of compress within each other and thinking small. So I think there's two things in Ashwin's favor. One, that he's happy and positive, thinking larger goals and, uh, and that he's fitter. So a combination of these two, who knows how far he will go. All I will say is, uh, Ashwin, I wish you number 500. If I can be a little bit selfish, I hope I'm on air calling it.